Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of your ships coming in. This is a card of hearing back from someone that you've been waiting for. Um, someone could be uh, telling you something that's allowing your situation with them to grow and expand in a positive way. So there's definitely an energy of manifestations coming to fruition and a lot of progressions happening with this card. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Magician, Mercury energy. We have the Lovers, Gemini energy. And the Two of Wands, Fire energy. So there's definitely some sort of manifestation coming to fruition with the Magician. It's like something you've been wanting or hoping for is finally happening. There is some sort of uh, choice that has been made here with the lovers being there. This can be talks around commitments or getting closer with someone. If there's distance between you and someone, this could be a long distance. There's an energy of coming together with this person, being intimate with them, being close to them with that lover's energy there. Um, it's like this person is choosing you and they're choosing to come towards you. They are choosing to uh, make something happen here with you. Um, they, with the two of wands, that also is a card of making decisions between things, also making plans. So I'm seeing someone here who's wanting to get closer to you and they are thinking about the next steps of this connection. They want to uh, move forward with you and they're thinking of the future of the connection. Where is this going? And, um, you know, how can this uh, strong connection, because the lovers does show an intense connection that is mutually felt here. They, they're thinking of how they can make this more uh, concrete, more solid. Um, so there could be talks here around commitments or even laying roots in some way, possibly travel as well. So let's clarify these cards, um, Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. So this is a card of conflict. This is a card of a lot of people being involved. This can be competition, um, but this can just be outside influence. So there is a, definitely an energy of something about overcoming something, some sort of a challenge. And this can be external. For example, if there's the long distance thing, distance could be a factor that is needing to be overcome. This can also be an energy of someone who was internally conflicted. They have been thinking about how to move forward and they don't know how to implement it. There's an energy of really having to, um, you know, allow two oppos opposing thoughts or ideas to uh, coexist here. But I do see someone getting a handle on this because we have the magician, that, which is an energy of taking control of something, being able to manifest, to make something happen. So there's definitely something about, there was delays in this connection because someone was conflicted or circumstances led to someone having to feel kind of conflicted. There was a, a, an obstacle here, a difficulty. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the star card, and this is Aquarius energy. Next, we have the page of swords, air energy. And finally, we have the knight of wands, fire energy. 
So definitely this person has been thinking a lot. So they've been overthinking the situation. But this person they, with the star, they're still hopeful. This is someone who's still, you know, wanting to make this work. They still believe that you guys can have something here. There's an energy of them seeing you as unique. The connection they share with you is one of a kind. And it's not the kind of connection that they would be willing to give up on easily. Um, the page of swords is showing again, contemplating, we see the two of wands there as well, thinking of how to move forward with you. The knight of wands being there is a card showing that there will be forward movement with this person. This person will take action towards you. They will come towards you as well is what I'm seeing here. This is someone who, you know, their love really wins, you know, over their fears in this situation. There is an energy of really wanting to push forward despite the obstacles, despite any outside influences um even if this is mental conflict there's an energy of really pushing forward because they're so passionate about you okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you aries So we have conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So something is definitely some obstacle or some waiting period or some challenge. It's like there's a solution that's being found. Someone is overcoming it. You guys are coming out victorious in some way here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Aries. So we have heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. So there's definitely an energy here of wanting to open up. Um, there's, I'm seeing someone is coming towards you. There's this intimate moment that you'll be sharing with this person. And this can be a heart to heart conversation with the lovers. It's like, you'll be close to this person and you'll have some sort of intimacy where you guys are opening up in some way, being vulnerable. Okay. So I'm going to put another card for you, Aries. So the card says, sweet pea, blissful pleasure. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. Okay, so this person is going to follow their heart straight to you. We have the Knight of Wands, which is someone who's passionate, someone who's fearless, they're courageous, they're bold, but they are also led by that passion. They follow their heart. This is someone who's coming towards you. It's like there's challenges, yes. Um, you know, they, their mind could be telling them all sorts of things, but there's an energy of following their heart ultimately here. Yeah. And it's like this person really, they just want to be closer to you. They want to be intimate with you. They want to open up to you. They value the connection they share with you. And there's an energy of this person making their way to you. With the three of wands, your ships are coming in. You're hearing back from someone. Um, someone is triumphing over obstacles and there's an energy of a waiting period is coming to an end. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.